Hi, I'm Andy Tock. I'm a Life Sciences PhD student at the University of Warwick and I'm funded by the BBSRC. Our research project builds on work done by crop scientists at the National Vegetable Research Station uh, at Wellsbourne, which is a forerunner to the Warwick Crop Centre. They developed Harico bean lines uh, in the 1970s and 1980s, specifically for UK growing conditions. We eat a huge amount of dry beans in the UK and we rely on them as part of our five-a-day nutrition. But we don't grow any in this country at the moment, so we're entirely dependent on imports of this staple food crop. The Harico bean is a potentially viable rotational crop for UK farmers and we think that homegrown beans could really appeal to people in the UK. In addition to the potential market value of locally produced beans, um, growers could stand to make agronomic gains from incorporating a leguminous break crop into their rotations, uh, which could promote soil renewal after repeated uh, cereal and oilseed rate rotations. So I've been given the exciting opportunity to help relaunch this Harico bean project with my supervisors, Professor Eric Holub and Dr Guy Barker, uh, here at the University of Warwick Crop Centre. Uh, we're drawing upon these heritage Harico beans and applying modern genetics tools uh, which could help to speed up the breeding process. The project makes use of the latest DNA sequencing technology uh, to begin mapping or localising genes governing some of the essential traits required by a Harico bean variety for UK farmers to grow it successfully. This involves developing an expandable database of genetic markers and these markers denote DNA sequence variations uh, or differences in the genetic codes of two elite parental lines. And these parental lines show contrasting trait characteristics. They each have different qualities that we want to take advantage of and so we expect them to be different at many of these DNA markers. And it's this variation that serves as our raw material that enables us to do genetics. Uh, this database will allow us to begin, map, begin to map some of the, the vital traits, uh, namely halo blight resistance. Uh, halo blight is a bacterial seed-borne disease of global importance. It occurs in the UK and throughout Europe and Africa and Latin America, uh, as well as water use efficiency, which is important for ensuring a healthy crop and uh, good yield at the end of the growing season. Some of these markers will serve as signposts uh, which will enable us to predict the presence of gene variants of interest um, that are associated with these, these traits. And it's anticipated that breeders will be able to use these markers to improve their ability to select lines combining these essential traits and ultimately to develop a Harico bean variety that's adapted to UK conditions. Music